Hello everybody, welcome to our second live stream of, well, I can't really call it tonight because um, it is now the, technically the next day. Um, it is just gone, what is it, it's 20 to 1 in the morning here in the UK. So, today we have our second launch. This is two of Starlink uh, missions tonight. So we just watched the, I can't even pronounce the uh, satellite we just uh, watched, but yeah. So we just watched um, SpaceX put a satellite into geostationary orbit, which is what we did in KSP2. So we put a lovely satellite in geostationary orbit. So tonight what we're going to do is basically uh we're gonna have a little bit of fun so i got a bit confused setting up this live stream um for some reason um spacex's video watch thing on their website said 12 uh 12 30 or like 12 50 whatever um and i got a bit confused at the times so um it is actually 2 22 a.m so we have about an hour and 45 minutes ish until uh the launch of the rocket so um actually we've got i can't even remember what time it was now All right we're gonna quickly do 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 we're gonna quickly go to spacex's website because i want to just make sure that's what we just said you you know you know sat I can never say it properly but yeah so we have here's our second Starlink mission and here's our third so we go here and go to watch and it was saying something like uh, 1252 I think it was um, and I'm guessing they've pushed it back slightly let's have a look Lift off is 9.30 Eastern. So, 9.30. Let me think. So, 9.30, 10 30, 12 30, 11. Uh, hang on. <laughs> Guys, honestly, it's stupidly late. 9, 10 30, 11 30, 12 30, 1 30, 2 30. So that makes sense so why i don't know anyway so we're gonna have a bit of fun on ksp2 until uh so when is it going live probably five minutes before uh where have you, about five minutes prior okay so we will basically be yeah about an hour and 45 minutes so i'm gonna chuck that actually on my left screen so i can see um and yeah we are going to have a bit of fun on ksp2 um it should be a bit fun um we're basically gonna do a stack oh. i've just played i've just been playing um uh la, la, la. i've not been playing i've been designing stuff in cad and now i'm gonna have to use completely different controls to what i was just using that is gonna be a bit horrible right so we are going to use the same monster that we built but on this one we're going to get rid of that and we are going to create the same um satellites uh but we are going okay that's right okay i don't know why but it <laughs> going from like cad to different games that use it it's so confusing you forget sort of like um what certain things go to certain ways right so what i want to do is take this and i just want to add a small bit like that now hopefully we should be able to select this there we go and um, we're going to place that. Uh, 
Right. Oh, we're now in flight hardware. There you go. Right. Now I'm hoping we're just going to be able to plonk this. There we go. Is that going to have enough room? That is my problem. Right, I want to do four. Why have I got this bug again? This bug is really annoying when you're trying to make... Um, when you're trying to make stuff and then it, it just bugs out a little bit. Right, so these can all go. Uh, nine... So actually, we need to, hmm, okay. So what we're going to try and do is we're going to try and send these to Juna. Now, Juna, we have plenty. And actually, huh, 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 huh. Right. We we no, we're not going to send it to Juno. We're going to literally fat boy slim the fairing. Ah, what happened there? Oh, I've got to come out a little bit because of the. Uh, and then we're going to go up like that. There we go. There we go, right. So, because... Oh, now, okay. I am going to make a Falcon Heavy. We are, yes, you heard me right. We are going to make a Falcon Heavy. So, we're going to go aerodynamic... Uh, da, 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 da. There we go. We're going to mirror. And then we are going to... Right. So, now we are going to go... Da, 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 do, do. I'm forgetting all the keyboard <laughs> findings. Because I just use loads. Uh... Uh, oh, no, no, oh, well, we're done. Oh, what the heck? Um, what, what, what did I just do? I'm sure it thinks I'm still in space. Because what's the keyboard binding for that? Oh, I don't even know. Oh, well, we're going to do it this way. What are you doing? May I, I, I've lost it. What is going on? This game is bugging out on me. Right. What the heck is going on? Why... Something has gone on with my game, guys, because <laughs> it's acting really stupid. Right, let's make sure that we're grabbing that. I can't move it. What the hell is going on? Guys, what's going on? Um, I'm kind of confused. <laughs> okay, that's definitely the wrong way around. Right, let's, uh, let's get it there.
Hmm. This is kind of confusing. Right, can we get it to go? Okay, we're going to go back to this old method. So, da -da 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 -da. this old chestnut. Right, we're going to put this up. There you go, that moved. Okay. Another Scooby why that was not working. There we go. That looks better. Right, can we... There we go. It's working now. Mm. No idea why that did that. Right. So, now I want a large one. There you go. So, what we're going to do... Now, this is a tip I got from... So Matt Loney, I think, about cross feeding from the boosters. So basically, the centre one will use the outside boosters first. Right, and then these ones go here. Damn, that's got a bit more power. It's still under underweight though. Wow. Okay, so what we're going to do is we are going to bring down the methane in there, bring down the oxidizer in there. That should give us 1.2, that's about right. And that does the same. Cool. Ah, there we go. So these should all now cross feed. So the center engine should take the outside um fuel say so should we'll see if it works right and then what i'm gonna do i'm gonna put some sepatrons on here just so it pushes in a way instead of uh that way. And there as well. Perfect. Right, so that can go in with Oh actually that's gonna go in with that one. Right, so that's do 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 and we're gonna put a frost limit on these. We're going to go 61% on the center engines. So that's 61. Cool. That should be at 100%. Yep. That's cool. Do we still have... Yeah, 1.1. It's going to be a slow boy. Where we've got 11,000 meters of... <laughs> a meters a second of delta V. Wow. That is crazy so where can we get to with this well uh so we could get to juno so actually <laughs> it's got quite a lot uh it's a round trip so that's obviously going to land do you know what i'm actually going to try and get these to go around juno I'm going to let them separate at certain points and then we can do like different ones at each one. That would be quite cool because Elon did say in one of his, um, I think it was a the company one with Glenn Shotwell, he was doing um, a, a video call and basically he said about Starship taking um starlink around mars so obviously if if because obviously we we have falcon heavy which i've i've basically made a giant falcon heavy 
Oh, it looks so cool. <laughs> it looks super cool. Um, what I actually need to do is does I'm trying to see what is the actual pattern of Falcon on. I think it is eight on the outside and then one in the middle. And I think is it the middle one that gimbals or is it all of them? Let me see. Let me see if Siri is up to the task. Do all nine engines on a Falcon 9 gimbal? I found this on the web. The nine Merling engine on the first stage gradually throttle near the end of the first stage, blah blah blah. First stage is powered by Merlin, use well, RV1. Uh, uh, how many engines on a Falcon 9 can gimbal? Uh, all nine, all nine engines on the first stage gimbal. Although the center engine has a greater range of motion uh, than the outside. Okay, yeah. So they do all gimbal. Okay, I am kind of right with that. So uh, obviously the outside ones don't gimbal as much because they literally bang into each other. So I'm guessing they have. An outside gimbal and an inside gimbal sort of set limit. I'm not going to do that because <laughs> I'd be terrible with that. So what I am going to do, because this second stage is going to be taking us to Juna, I am going to fit it with some solar panels. Now... Uh, Uh, there and there so this is probably quite a heavy boy now so we're actually going to take a little bit more 11.11 there we go so let's see what that boosts that up to 1.99 cool so what we're actually going to do we're going to take a little bit out of here as well Take that to 11, take that to 11, cool. So that has reduced our thing, but it's given us 1.23 thrust to weight ratio. So that's not bad. It's not bad at all. So guys, are we ready to do a mission? <laughs> we are going to send this payload to... Um, uh, where are we going? We are going to Juna. I'm going to put some lights around. Just so we've got something to look at. She is a tall boy. I will say. She is very tall. Uh, it would probably be a very small fairing. But we are we are going far. <laughs> right. Here we go. Are we ready guys and girls? Uh, so we have spawned in and it's night time. So I'm going to just, there we go, right, here we go, in three, two, one, go. Ooh, she's a slow one, frames per second is definitely not high either. Um. Do we have? Uh, I don't have control. Why don't I have control? Uh, hello. <laughs> Why don't I have control? Uh, something is definitely going wrong here guys uh, we are about to crash oh, 
we definitely have some problems, Houston. This is just a test, guys. <laughs> I clearly need to put a remote unit on this. Um, we have definitely got a bit of an issue. <laughs> I mean, technically it's pitching for me, but I literally have no, absolutely no control whatsoever. So this is what would happen if it actually flew itself. Um, it's gone past the 45 degree angle. Yeah, this this is hellfire. Absolute hellfire. Just gonna make sure that the sound is Absolute okay. Hellfire. Yeah, we're fine. Alright, here we go. We're coming up on booster side booster Miko. Um, so we're gonna go. Here we go, you ready? There we go, and they fall away. <laughs> this is really stupid because actually it's kind of working. But it's it's not, we are way too low. And then we're gonna throttle limit right up. Oh no, oh no, we're we're spinning. We're in the death spin. Oh. Okay, we are Hey on wait, 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 wait. Is it just the bottom stage we oh we have we have motion now uh, okay what's going on why the hell uh, what the hell is going on This is really like, <laughs> this is not what's meant to happen. Um, well guys, I don't know actually what's happening, but something is going on. I, I have now control, I think. Yeah, there you go, look, I'm spinning the way I want to go. I have lights now. Hmm. Oh, and we're flipping. gonna just extract all the we're gonna see what happens well, I'm gonna go to this one so we've got the maximum chance of surviving oh god they're smacking into each other I mean actually they kind of look quite good I'm kind of liking that Uh, 
Okay, we are definitely falling the wrong way. Uh, where are the rest? Yeah, we sh probably shouldn't have... Oh, actually, he's falling quite fast. Oh, I think that one lost its... Um, solar panels. Okay, we've actually managed to turn the right way up. That's kind of funny. M2 are floating off that way. That one is about to crash into the surface going Mark 1. Well, it's not Mark 1, but you know, you know what it is. So, we seem to have had an issue talking to the others. Look how they just, they're slowly floating down. That one's dead. Where's the other one? Oh, the other one's about a kilometre away. Jeez. It's flying almost back to the, uh, back to the thing. All right, I'm going to point you upwards. Got quite a lot of crust in this, so... Right, let's get all the way down. Oh no, oh no. That is not what I wanted to happen. Oh no, oh no, oh no. We need to roll back. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes. <laughs> We're actually now moving sideways. That one's about to crash into the ground. And come on, crash into the ground. Come on. Is that going for the ground? There you go. Where's the other one? The other one has gone as well. Oh, there it is. Oh, that one actually slightly. Alright, we're going to try and come to a stop slowly. Alright, here we go. And we're going to start throttling up. Right, here we go. Now we're just coming straight down. Come on, we are going to land this satellite. <laughs> the other one may not, the other lot may not have survived, but this one will. And there we go. <laughs> Okay, guys, well, that, that wasn't meant to happen. Um, actually, isn't this the beach I drove to with uh, the rover and that that I made? That's kind of funny. Right, so we're going to revert to the VAB, and we're going to sort something out. So it was the upper stage we had control of. I might put some little fins at the top. <sighs> right, okay. So what we're going to do is we are going to go like that. We are going to put you there. And then you go on top of that. You go there. And that should mean we have a bit more um stability oh this scroll wheel is like really broken okay right 
Oh, okay, you can do it with both of them. I did not know that. Uh, I went past the one I wanted. I want that one. And I want that one. And then I'm going to go there. I just need a little bit extra help going upwards. <laughs> 1.2 for all that. It's, it's going to be close. So I think I'll take a little bit more out of here. That should be plenty. 1.23. What? That made no difference. Okay, whatever. We're fine. Let's give this a go, guys. Let's see if now we can make it. There you go. I have control. Nice. Back and forth. We have that. That's good. All right, here we go. Are we ready, guys? Three, two, one, let's go. We're gonna go off very, very slowly. This is more traditional to a rocket. Having oh, I've just realized saying this has got the old engines on that don't have gimbaling. That is why we are having trouble with guys. That is why we are having trouble. Right, let's just let's just go crazy and we're just gonna eject Eject our boosters. Let's see what the boosters do. Oh ho, ho, ho. That is insane. to die. That's hot staging for you. <laughs> okay, right. What we need to do, revert to the VAB. I can't believe I didn't even notice. Right. So this should actually go a lot better now. Now that we know the reason why. <laughs> that is mental. How I didn't even notice the difference between the engines is unreal. Right, so we can actually go to here. Yeah, I'll pop this off. Get rid of that. Saves a bit of weight. Um, right, and then we need to just get rid of them. Rid of them. Right, here we go. So, get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that. There we go, right. So, we have now uh, one engine there, one engine there, one engine there. What the heck? Okay, that is rather strange, but okay. Right, so I had them sticking out a little bit. I just hope that it's not going to intersect them all. Uh, what is going on with this? Right, fairing. Get rid of the fairing. D 
That is random as hell. So now our, our thruster weight should be crazy. Right, 27 again. There we go. Wow. Our thruster weight ratio is crazy. So now we can fully go back up the... Right, so we're now going to force limit this to about 59%. Cool. Three only 3,000. I was thinking it was a bit weird that we had so much power. Um, so little power, even a more. Right. So let's now nose cone this oh what am I getting that message from oh VAB right Symmetry attach, okay. So why is that? That okay. Okay. Huh, okay, what is going on here? Right, is it because it's not putting it over here? Right, it's because these two boosters are have got a uh, symmetry on. Okay, I know what's going on. I know what's going on. We can actually delete. Uh, so I'm actually going to just attach them to there. I'm going to get rid of that. Right. Right, I can get rid of them. I can then put uh, huh. Okay. That's kind of annoying, but we will deal with that when we get to it. That is in line. That is good. I've forgotten all the keyboard bindings. Honestly, I have messed up so badly by going to a different thing for a bit. Right, here we go. So, there you go. That makes 27. Uh. Oh god, it's doing that thing now where I can't quite... Oh, dang it! Where things don't go straight. It's really annoying. Go. That can go there. Uh, that can go there. Oh, that's going the wrong way. And this one can go there. Right, so them ones need to go with that. Nice. 
So now what we need to do is do the cross feed again. So we go all the way to the bottom and we just to the middle. I'm going to do support struts just to there because I feel like uh, it possibly could shake itself loose. So there we go. So we got Support struts. I wish like the fuel lines would add strength. So what we at? 1.9. Jeez. So we're at 9,000 meters per second of delta V. So we could take a bigger like uh, top bit. Juna. So we've got plenty to actually get to Juna. Right. <sighs> Hopefully, now, we should have um, some good Right, there we go. There we go. Right. Here we go, guys. We are going to go for it. So, uh, all engines go, um, Sepatrons and side cut off, uh, stage separation, second engine start, fairing deploy, payload deploy. Cool. Right, we're going to go for it, guys. This should be, <laughs> I say should be. The actual one that goes to Juna. So, here we go. We're going to fast forward till it gets to daylight. Here we go. Oh, it's a fat boy. <laughs> here we go, guys. In three, two, one, let's go. That looks better already. Let's get going. So we've done our roll. Almost there. Right, we're gonna oh we got our frost limiter, so that's good. And that one's not got uh, the centre one hasn't got frost limit, that is fine by me, right, we're gonna put that down a bit lower, there we go, Woo, she is a bit laggy, but you know what, we are fine, and I've just realised, we put RCS on it, but we haven't um, actually got any RCS on there, so that is fine, right, we're gonna start doing our lean over, so right, we're gonna come out of this, Oh, we are definitely, I'm afraid of tipping over. Oh, man. Definitely hard to watch, guys. Um, <laughs> we are probably getting about 11 or 12. Oh, SpaceX is live. What? SpaceX is live. What's time? Oh, well. Wow. It's 2 o'clock in the morning already, guys. <laughs> wow. Okay, guys. I am losing the plot. Wow, two hours, just an hour and 45 minutes went fast. Right, we are going to pause our game right there. <laughs> oh, wow. I am definitely losing the plot. Right, save. Uh, sent. Save. 
percent. I'm just going to call it like that. There we go. Um, and then we're going to go back here. Watch on X. I can't believe. I honestly can't believe it's two o'clock in the morning already. What the hell? Oh, you know why I am being a complete idiot? <laughs> okay, guys. So the reason why I'm an idiot. We have just had the um, clocks go forward an hour. Honestly, guys, I don't know. <laughs> I am losing the plot. Oh, why is it only 7... 720p plus. Okay, that's a bit weird. There's a lot of noises. Alright. Uh, oh, wow. So that's why it's two... That's why it was 225. I couldn't understand why it was so late. Wow, I can't believe. I literally, I'm such an idiot. <laughs> Honestly, I'm trying to think like, it's only been 53 minutes. Why, why has it not been, like, why is it SpaceX live now? And I'm like, oh, I hate this clock going forward. <laughs> so now, we are six hours ahead of Florida I have to remember that um, when does Florida put their clocks forward it's Saturday the 30th of March 2024 in Tallahassee <sighs> when do America put their clocks back when do them um... the oh my god Florida? Literally, honestly, guys, if I could get rid of Siri, I would, okay? I would have Alexa, my Bob. Because Google's not very good. <laughs> I really don't like that. All right, well, here we go, guys. <laughs> I can't believe I, I completely forgot about the time going forward. So it completely messed up. Oh, here we go, guys. We are in startup. Right. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe I did that. Wow. Here we go. We'll go for launch. So this is... Wow, look at the crew arm. Access arm. That looks crazy. So this is your typical Falcon 9 Starlink. I actually can't believe I did that. That's mad. Oh, there's a lot of random noise. Man, they have been pumping out these rocket launches. See, it's like, in that time, it's got really dark in Florida. Like, we literally saw one, well, technically, it was, officially, it's only been um, two hours. But, officially, uh, it's been three hours according to my clock. 
And it's got in that time it's got dark in Florida. It's crazy. I mean it's been pitch black all the time for me, so Come on baby, we can do it. Falcon is supersonic. So this is actually gonna be an easy night for me. I'm actually technically only going to bed at half Half two, not half. Uh, what? No. Uh, what's the next one's at? What time's the next one? So the next one for me is three ten. I think with lift off being at half past three in the morning for me. So actually, in an hour, I'll be streaming again. So it's technically going to be like quarter to three for me. If I was to take the hour back out, <laughs> it's so confusing. Oh. <laughs> what I might do is end this stream. I should have just done like one whole long stream, but um, that's it's so funny. So I think once this, um, once they learn this, I'll end this stream and I'm going to move over to the next stream. So if you guys want to follow me onto the next stream after this, we will. Oh, look at that. See, I love nighttime launches. Well, I can't see it now, but you know, you can see Florida so well. So you can actually make out like, wow, look at that. It's literally flying through the um, plume. Bearing separation confirmed. Nice. what we like to see come on so how high is this uh, booster gonna go to they sort of all go round to like the 111 to 115 it's slowing down where is it gonna go to 114 115 is it gonna get the 116 there you go, 116. Oh. 117, it is, it's climbing. It is crazy, like. It just doesn't look. Oh, now it's starting to come down. There you go, got the 117, this one. Um. It's just crazy how this is just so routine now. It is mental. Like when in KSB2 we get automations and stuff like that. So you do a rocket one time and then hopefully it should do that trip on its own. That is going to be nuts. Like I'm what I'm doing now or what I was doing um, would I'd be able to do this mission and then the computer know exactly what to do and do it constantly so but I could have like fleets of these coming round so obviously we still don't know if it's going to be like a whole mission uh, that the, the automation can do or is it just going to be like taking one rocket from one place and putting it in orbit around Juno or something like that? Or like 
is it actually going to land down as well? So if you think it's, it can't just land on the same place unless, I mean, unless you're putting docking ports on on something so you land on the docking port. I mean, is it basically going to just map everything you do? It's it's weird questions to answer, and obviously only the devs know that for KSP two. <coughs> Just make sure there's no bugs in my uh, drink because I've left the top off. I just realised my background lights are actually turned on, giving me this like red aura. Stages are on a nominal trajectory. That's what we like to see. Do you know what? I might stay up all night. I've I've literally jumped a whole hour. So actually staying up would be a hell of a lot easier. I might work on my lovely digital display board that I've got here. I've got all the tools that I need. Stage one transonic. Here we go, we've got landing coming up. What are these? Why is there a little? I see a little. Oh, is that the? You can actually see the drone ship. Look, that's the light. I was like, there's like a little white spot. Go. Oh, oh, these are quite high actually today. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's rocking a little bit. That was a bit of a, a sway, and that was actually on the legs, not on the 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 boat. Wasn't swaying. Right, ladies and gentlemen. Nominal park orbit insertion. Nice. Look at that. That is a good one. Right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to do it for tonight's live stream. I was actually expecting to be live a little bit longer than that, but I am an idiot. And I don't understand. Uh, I forgot about time going forward. So, guys, thank you very much for watching. Um, I am now going to get ready for our third live stream of the night. Yes, I knew I should have just done one big one, but do you know what? I like the challenge of having multiple streams. <laughs> and we will pick up uh, KSB2 um, in about 20 minutes. I'm going to just do a few little bits and bobs, and then we're going to pick up KSP 2 where we left off. Okay, guys, so thank you very much for watching. See you guys in about 20, 25 minutes. I'm Lee. Fly safe, land safe. I'll see you guys later. Bye.